My name is Alex Warnock-Smith and I'm an architect at Urban Projects Bureau. We were the architects for the building. Uh, my name is Cynthia Rickman. I'm the acting principal at Graveney. I've been here for 21 years. We started off by uh, realising that our growing school needed more space for students because we didn't have sufficient classrooms. Uh, and so we began by identifying a suitable location on the site um, and looking at how we might use that space best to build the classrooms that we thought that we needed. So we're one of a small number of schools who offer astronomy GCSE and we decided early on to house that um, subject in this, in this building. And we wanted very much to design the building so as to provide a learning journey for the students as they walked through it starting moving in from outside and then up the staircase, very large and beautiful airy stairwells that we have that we've used to um, locate pictures of the universe and the stars and the galaxies and so on as they walk upstairs, taking them to an outdoor classroom where they can use the campus to work out ratios, um, spaces between the planets, um, between the stars and so on, and from there up the spiral staircase into the observatory which is located on the roof. So the building was designed to embody circular economy principles, both from the perspective of environmental sustainability in the construction methods we used and the materials we used, but also in terms of social sustainability in supporting different kinds of education and pedagogic initiatives about creative industries um, and uh, design and architectural education within um, school education, but also in terms of initiatives that support widening participation and diversity in the architecture and built environment professions. We chose the materials, the construction materials, very carefully uh, with sustainability in mind uh, and we were absolutely delighted when our architects did a piece of work on calculating the embodied carbon in the new building that we were um, in the process of designing uh, and it turned out that the cross-laminated timber that we wanted to use uh, came out for the whole building with embodied carbon levels of 58,000 ki kilograms in a context where a similar building of similar size built out of concrete would have come up uh, at a cost of 11 million kilograms and so we felt very firmly that that met our brief. I think for me my favourite part of the building is the staircase because it's quite generous and it becomes one of the key sort of social spaces and community spaces uh, in the building but also in the campus. The other thing I really like is the, the verticality there where you can look all the way up through three storeys and the circular staircase to the observatory and also down again. There's an absolutely fantastic 360 view of London. You've got a panoramic view from Heathrow Airport right the way over to Gatwick Airport, which I've shown kids and students and teachers. And also acknowledge that you're in one of the best buildings, six forms in the whole of England. I think so anyway. I mean, I can't tell you what a, a pleasure it has been to go through this process and to see what was really a dream that evolved over quite some months and, uh, and even years uh, turned into a building that was, is, is as beautiful as this one is. Uh, and I think the pride that we all feel in it uh, is, is, is palpable. Uh, I think the quality of the build is also really important. It means that the students, when they come into the building and when they're using the classroom, they feel a real sense of pride as well. Uh, they want to look after it. They want to learn in it. It's got a very peaceful um, feel to it. Uh, we've kept the classrooms. Uh, sort of furnished and decorated in a very minimal way um, and it's an absolute joy to work uh, and see people working in the building.